Dead Reefs is a third-person but occasionally first-person adventure game, released in 2007 by Canadian developer Streco Graphics. Dead Reefs features an investigation on an infamous cursed island in England. I'm gonna do my best to recount my experience playing this game, because if we're being honest, I feel like I blacked out for the majority of it, which I know is not a good excuse, and I'm definitely not using that on the police again. I think I think you get one of those, and then, and then they're on to you. In Dead Reefs, you play as Johnny Depp, who is sent to investigate a mysterious death on an island steeped in pirate history. What begins as a simple investigation becomes more complicated when a pattern of deaths appears to be linked to a supposed curse. I hate to start out being a jerky asshole dickhead f face, but Dead Reefs' story is very by the numbers. It's like a slim paperback mystery that's easily digestible if somewhat bland. It's a historic murder mystery that serves you up to suspected murderers, and well, it's one of them. Really, the only deviation from this is the supernatural element, which isn't handled in a creepy or scary way. Dead reefs may have ghosts and demons, but they are never played for horror. The main character doesn't even seem all that surprised to see a ghost. The Baroness. Clarissa. I mean, the least you can do is in some way express that, hey, this is peculiar, perhaps even noteworthy. I see ghosts all the time, and let me tell you, you don't get used to it. <laughs> not right now, not right now. <laughs> there just really isn't any hook to the story. He plays a character that doesn't really have a whole lot of character. I mean, the biggest thing he's got going for him is that walking stick, which to be fair, he does utilize in a lot of ways that could have easily been done by hand. So I guess he's sort of eccentric. I don't mean to say that the story isn't competently written. It's not like it has plot holes or anything like that. More like it's just cliche material that doesn't rise above what anyone else has done with it. In an interview the developer did to promote Dead Reefs, the interviewer asks the developer about the challenges faced in releasing a game in a genre that's popularity is rapidly dwindling. To which they reply, adventure games are targeted for a particular type of audience. Of course, when your average person walks into a game shop looking to buy some game to prevent them from being bored, they are more likely to pick up a shooter rather than an adventure game. The only way that a company can successfully compete in the adventure game industry is by trying to make something original. In our opinion, we believed that the story of Dead Reefs was pretty original and worth putting up on the market. It's strange how much I agree with the first part of that statement, but also how entirely forgettable and unoriginal this game story is. Not to put down a small group of developers who are probably passionate about what they do, but I know they can do better than this. The pieces of a good well-crafted game are here, it's just not interesting, and that's kind of why I'm here. As you said, people looking to not be bored can play a shooter, so I'm here for that intelligent, immersive adventure experience you claim to provide. Yes, the two potions smell the same. Dead Reefs differs from a lot of adventure games in its controls. Most third-person adventure games are uniformly controlled with the mouse. You point to where you want your character to go, and you click to make him go there. This game forgoes the mouse entirely and instead uses controls similar to what you would find in an early Resident Evil or Alone in the Dark title. It's almost identical to tank controls, though it is slightly more annoying than tank controls. Most of the time you spend indoors, the camera is fixed at cinematic angles, and when you go to a more open area, the camera falls behind you with a mock handheld shakiness, which in retrospect I don't know. Uh, whether or not that was on purpose, the camera shook guide. You can also switch to a first person view and pan around in a very limited arc. You also can't move in first person. This function serves as your hint button, as it reveals all the hotspots in sight. Dead Reefs is a little more puzzle intensive than some of the games I've played, but none of them are too hard to figure out. But that doesn't mean that they aren't tedious and clearly there to add length to an otherwise quick and straightforward game. Oh, I can die. <laughs> what? <laughs> the 
The music in Dead Reefs confuses me because it sounds as though it were written as a film score, meaning that the music should be following the actions of a film, but it doesn't do that. It's clearly one track that just loops. This bothers me because that track features surprising musical stings and stabs, like when something exciting or shocking happens in a film, but in this case, they just happen for no reason. The first couple times this happened, I thought something important had happened off camera that I missed. Here's an example of this being used effectively. See, it's so simple, just a little brown, and it had me stopping in my tracks. Can, can, we, can we talk about fear? Like, I like that game. Oh no, I guess I'm one of those average people picking up a shooter so I won't be bored. He's right, I should be more intellectually stimulated by dead reefs. Very nice. There is something there. I can't reach. This is better. I'm gonna remember this. Voice acting is really middle of the road. It's in that gray area where it's capably spoken but void of character. Who disturbs old Oliver Boone? Not to worry, my friend. I am Amade Finvenero, investigator for His Majesty. This may not have been the developer's fault since it seems that the adventure company was responsible for the voice acting. I can see little attempts at humor or emotion that aren't read with that in mind. Dead Reefs still looks pretty good and I can't imagine it was easy for a small team to make an adventure game with full 3D environments instead of pre-rendered ones. It looks very good for what it had to work with. I don't think that there's a way for me to say such a backhanded compliment and not feel like a dickhead fuckface. Look, I feel real sorry about all the mean things I said. I'm probably gonna hurt myself later. It's, it's okay though, I won't do it anywhere where, where, where people can see. As always, I'm really glad this game exists. I'm glad these games get made. And it's probably a lot harder to make a game than it is to complain about one. If this format speaks to you, then you'd probably get some enjoyment out of Dead Reefs. But I didn't like it. And that's why I gotta do something bad to myself. Dead Reefs is a good looking but ultimately forgettable adventure game. It has a fun setting and covers themes of Lovecraftian cults and pirate curses. All those things are fun, but this game handles all of it like an unenthusiastic procedural investigation. I wasn't intrigued by the story or the characters. I had nothing to latch onto, and in the end I just felt sort of relieved that I could play something else. I hate being negative about games, especially ones that show promise and have fun ideas. But Dead Reefs should in no way be your benchmark for something that stands above a big budget shooter. A classic style adventure game can still be fun, immersive, and exciting. Dead Reefs takes a flawed but beloved genre and accentuates its flaws by adding a needlessly bothersome control system and adding that to an incredibly dry story. And you know what? I don't even know why I got hung up talking about fear when Bioshock also came out that same year and Stalker and The Darkness. All great shooters with fantastic original stories and fun gameplay. Sure, there were also some mindless ones like Painkiller, but there were also a fuckload of bad shovelware adventure games. I don't even- I don't even know what my point was anymore. Sometimes first person shooters are really smart, sometimes adventure games are really dumb. Just because I love adventure games doesn't mean I have to be an elitist and discredit another genre. Except sports games, those aren't real games, that's fucking trash, throw that away. Please? Of course. Was it the proper response? Yeah, yes, I know it. A slave shall serve.